I'll tell you this, Conspira, Conspiranoia, this song is so fucking good, man. When, it, when it's at around that seven minute mark and it gets into this cool jam part. Oh, man. I just love right. that that area. And then the outro, the last two minutes when the uh, conspiracy shit starts coming on <laughs> and your guitar work on it is great. I love it because it's um, it's this beautiful kind of 70s thing uh, over the verses like the bow, wow, 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 wow. you know, it's beautiful yeah, yeah. sound. And then it gets uh, it gets all funky and weird. It's just great guitar playing in this, man. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, that, it's funny because that's a tone that I've been kind of just like it sound checks forever. I was kind of just, I was trying to get this really compressed, like, you know, old school tone and work on it. I was, I just had a kind of sort of in of one of my presets of stuff that I could click to, but I hadn't used it for anything. So when we recorded this, I went for that one and like it fit right in perfect in song. Oh, it sounds so good. What guitar did you use? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a, uh, SG standard that, Gibson was started making me these super rad custom shop guitars and the guys there had built that one like kind of special specs that I want. It's kind of got some Frank Zappa electronics where it's got some different switches and stuff to put things out of phase and split things and just this really great guitar. So that's what's on that. That's what's on the whole EP is this one SG that I got. Now, did, did that happen from when you were playing the SG at the ACDC thing? You whipped out that killer Angus one. Did somebody reach out to you from Gibson and say, hey, would you like to us to build you an SG? What happens there? Yeah, well, the crazy thing was is there's a couple of guys that work at the custom shop that are huge Primus fans. And I kept hearing from, they had got a hold of Tim, our drummer, and we're telling him like, hey, we're huge Primus fans. We want to like build Lure some guitars. And I was like, this doesn't sound right. I don't, I think they're making this up. So it kind of <laughs> took me a while before I hooked up with him. And then, I, I really wanted an SG. I wanted like a Zappa SG. So I talked to this probably Gibbs you may have ran into our, from our management. Um, and he was talking to the, 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 you know, the people that deal the artist relations people at Gibson. And said, so I was trying to see if I could buy a, uh, an SG. And then it was coming up right around the time we did the, uh, the ACDC stuff. I was like, oh, this would be perfect. But they were having a hard time finding one. And then just right before that uh, thing, I ended up getting that one which is a great guitar that I was so stoked. That's part of the whole fun of that ACDC night was getting, playing that new guitar. 